Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found true. Hear the prayers of your servant and of your people Israel. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts. And I'm going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. But if there are gifts of prophecy, the time will come when they must fail. Or the gift of languages, it will not continue forever. And knowledge. For this, too, the time will come when it must fail. For our knowledge is imperfect, and our prophesying is imperfect. But once perfection comes, all imperfect things will disappear. When I was a child, I used to talk like a child, and think like a child, and argue like a child. But now I am a man. All childish ways are put behind me. Now we are seeing a dim reflection in a mirror, but then we shall be seen face to face. The knowledge that I have now is imperfect, but then I shall know as fully as I am known. In short, there are three things that last, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp with a ten string lute singing songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own, for the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. May your love be upon us, O Lord, 
as we place all our hope in you. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words let us be written like you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people, what description could I find for the men of this generation? What are they like? They're like children shouting to one another while they sit in the marketplace. We played the pipes for you and you wouldn't dance. We sang dirges and you wouldn't cry. Poor John the Baptist comes, not eating bread, not drinking wine, and you say, he is possessed. The Son of Man comes, eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom has been proved right by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world, let us all pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the entire people. For the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. Christ graciously hear us. For those who hold public office, let us call upon the power of the Lord. Christ graciously hear us. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity. Christ graciously hear us. For all of us who pray in faith and ask the mercy of the Lord, let us entreat the compassion of our Saviour Christ graciously hear us. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.